you you could have tucked the toe, but you didn't. You could have tucked the foot, but you didn't. You could have tucked half of the ankle, but you didn't. You tucked half of my leg. Why? I don't understand it. You got it on when you hear that click. She on real good now. Mr. Rucker lost his foot because of diabetes. Mr. Rucker lost his foot because of lack of awareness. Mr. Rucker lost his foot because of lack of compassion. Did yeah. that what he thought taking the scab off that toe. That day, right there, that's the day they should have took the toe off, you know? But they didn't. He was told that that toe would have to go and that it will be done as an outpatient. He'll have a couple of stitches and he'll go home. I end up in the emergency room and they both been taking off a toe. And what did they take off, rather? And they took off the whole leg. It could have been prevented. 100% of it could have been prevented. He had severe blockages, but guess what? We could open them up. There are procedures like an angiogram using just an x-ray machine that decreases the odds of an amputation by 90%. But guess what? 70% of these patients are not even offered an angiogram nationally. In the heart of the Mississippi Delta, that number is raised to about 90%. So that is why most of these are avoidable, and that's why this is such a heartbreaking epidemic that has to stop. There you go. Boop. Cut me with my leg off. <laughs> you need blood flow for your organs to have nutrients. And when you develop severe plaque buildup, that will narrow the blood flow. If that happens in any other blood vessel, in your upper extremities or your lower limbs, we call that peripheral arterial disease. If not treated on time, it will lead to an amputation. The population that's at risk for that are your diabetic population, which is the fastest chronic disease issue that we're facing in America. I've been managing diabetes since 1994. I had to check it every day, you know, sometimes twice a day. He fits the criteria of someone who lives under the amputation lottery umbrella. If you look at the map of America, you see there's an overlay in terms of the remnants of slavery when where the amputation rates are high. The prevalence of peripheral arterial disease is two to three times higher in the African-American population. The same population are less likely to get screened on time. They have the lowest number of physicians per capita, the lowest number of vascular specialists, the highest prevalence of diabetes and obesity because of systemic racism. It tells you how cruel our healthcare system is. In the 1960s, Martin Luther King said that of all forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhumane. Every 30 seconds, a limb in America is lost due to peripheral arterial disease and diabetes. Every 30 seconds. You have to make sure that once you identify the problem, you find solutions other than an amputation. What if Mr. Rucker was screened for peripheral arterial disease early on in his 40s or 50s? And what if we had captured his disease state before his toe turned black? We have to have equitable policies for all here in our healthcare system so that we can all have a fair and equal playing field in achieving our best possible health and living our best possible lives. And that's what health equity is. <laughs> <laughs>